Hey guys, Warren from Race Tire Tech here today. We're going to test a new tool. Uh, it's called the Tyron. Uh, it's designed to fit tires without actually pinching tubes on motocross tires. Uh, here's the tool set up over here. It comes with the different size shafts. So uh, choose the right size shaft for your wheel hub. Slot it in. Uh, what we have here today is a uh, a bat tire and a bat tube uh, complements of bat tires. Thanks, guys, for uh, giving us the opportunity to test with your tires. And let's give it a bash. So, what we're going to do is we don't want to pinch the tube, so set the tire in at the correct length. Under the tube, and this tool is designed to pick up the bead, working small bites, I'm told. Works pretty simple. As you can see, we're not uh, 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 touching the, the tube. As I work around, I, I grab the bead in small bites, and this tool effortlessly pushes it over the, the rip. And I'm not touching the tube, so there's absolutely no chance of me uh, pinching the tube. that's the bottom tire done. What I like to do is just use a, a tire iron just to keep the tire from running away. You can either work over the beadlock or the, or the tube. We're not running beadlocks as well so I'm just going to work over the valve core. Right, that's just to hold it down so the tire doesn't run away as you work around. You need to set up your tool to the right distance. It looks like we need a bit more. Let's go. Right, uh, let's let's get going. I'm told to work in very small bites and to let the rubber naturally just stretch over the rim as you go along. Spin it around. As you can see, this part is the easy part. If this tool does that, you need a bit more meat on the one bit more length on the rod. Spinning around, spinning around. So far I'm finding it's pretty easy. I don't change tires every day so I'm not an expert. But this is not so bad. I think anyone could do it. This is where the going gets tough, and this is where I'm told most people pinch their tubes. Okay, so I'm going to start working a little bit slower here. As you can see, I'm never touching the tube. The tube's inside the uh, the, the, the tire well. Uh, this tool actually only just grabs the edge of the bead like that. All right, push the tool, and the tire just naturally fall over the rim. As you can see. This tool has uh, got amazingly uh, well, remarkable amount of torque, I must say. Let's go. There you go, just let it fall down. Make sure when you push it over the, the rim that the tire actually falls below the, or well, the bead falls below the rim, otherwise it's just going to ride off. As you start nearing the end, it's now going to be a lot more force. Okay, right. There's the tough part. Let's see how it goes. So far, so good. Push that over, just wait for it to fall. You can see it's going over, going over. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. 